Hi you guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how to make these really cool cinnamon and applesauce ornaments for the holidays. They smell amazing and they were really, really a lot of fun to make. I'm going to share my super simple recipe as well as a recipe for homemade puff paint, um, which was really simple and it dried very hard and puffy so I'm really pleased with it. Um, I also have some with glitter and I'll share those with you as well. And if you're interested in learning how to do these, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what we're going to be using today. You're going to need some applesauce, some ground cinnamon, ground cloves, a rolling pin, some measuring spoons, cookie cutters of your choice, a larger mixing bowl, some baking sheets, and something pointy like a skewer or a nail. And that's it. So preheat your oven to the lowest setting that it will go on. Mine goes to 170 Fahrenheit. And I'll meet you back here in just a second and we'll get mixing okay, our Okay guys, we're just going to get mixing here. And I'm going to do the dry ingredients first. So first we're going to do one teaspoon of cloves. And I didn't have ground cloves, I had whole cloves. So I just put them through a grinder. <laughs> you could do the same. You don't have to be exact here. One teaspoon dry cloves. We're going to do 10 tablespoons of dried cinnamon. And as you can imagine, it smells heavenly here right now. Sorry for all the clanking. So again, I'm not going to be exact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then six tablespoons of applesauce. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's that simple, folks, okay? So next, we're just going to take our spoon and mix everything up good. Let me get this out of here. I have a piece of wax paper down. And you're just going to mix this up really good until you have a stiff dough. And then we're going to sprinkle even more cinnamon out onto our workspace and roll these out. So I'll see you back here as soon as I get this mixed up good. I might even go in with my hands. Okay, we, we got, got everything all mixed together and it was much easier to just go in with my hands. And I sprinkled some ground cinnamon down here, just like you would do if you were rolling out a pie crust, if you'd use flour. And we're just going to roll this out, just like that. Um, use the rolling pin, use the side of a glass or a jar if you don't have a rolling pin. Or just smoosh it down. But I'm going to roll this out to approximately an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, it does not have to be exact. The thicker they are, the longer they'll take to bake. So I'm just going to give you an example. I'm going to roll it out and I'm going to do a star and a tree. And I thought I'd have room for a gingerbread man, but I don't, but that's okay. So. Just like you're making cookies, folks. 
And what we're going to do, I have a spatula here to help uh, lift these up. I didn't know how much they were going to stick, but I told you we have our skewer. And we're just going to make a hole in the top to hang a ribbon or an ornament hanger. Um, be careful if your edges are thin. You don't want to crack through. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. Okay, and then carefully, I'm just going to, well, let's see if we can pull this right up. A little bit. There we go. Yeah, this dough is pretty easy to work with, actually. So I'm just coming in, and I have a cookie sheet lined with a no-stick baking mat. So we're just going to put those on. And I told you our oven is preheated to its lowest setting. I know some people's can go as low as 120 uh, Fahrenheit, but... Your lowest oven setting, and we're going to put these in for an hour and a half. And then take them out and let them dry overnight. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll see you in the morning or tomorrow when they're baked and dry, and then we can decorate them, or you can just leave them as they are. So it's that simple, you guys, all right? Give this a try, and I'll see you after everything's baked. Okay, you guys, it's the next day. And these smell amazing. So I had them in the oven at 170 for about an hour and a half last night. And then I just let them sit overnight. And now the next step is up to you. You can leave them plain like this if you'd like. Or you could use puff paint on them. And that's what I'm going to do on some of them. And I have a recipe for homemade puff paint as well. You could put glitter on them. You could use, um, you know, you're going to need ribbon to hang them. Or you could use jute twine. Um, really, you could put acrylic paint if you want. But I really like the natural look to them. Look, I made a goddess. And I also did... And the sun, lots of stars, heart. These are great, you guys. I had so much fun making them. They're so simple. So, um, like I said, some of these I might put some glitter on. If you're going to put glitter, just put a little glue, pour your glitter on, tap it off. Voila, there you have it. The puff paint that I'm going to make, um, and I'll show you guys after I make it, it's just three cups of shaving cream. And you need to use foam, not gel. So like old school shaving cream, like Barbasol or something. Three cups of shaving cream to one cup of flour and one cup of white glue. And I'll put those in the, I'll put all the ingredients and measurements in the description box. But you basically mix that all up and then just put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, you could also use a fine liner if you want um, to write with. You could also add food coloring to that to tint it. So that makes puff paint. So I will see you back here in just a minute and I'll show you how I'm going to use some of the puff paint. Okay, okay guys, I'm going to show you how to use a homemade puff paint. And I didn't have enough shaving cream for the recipe, so I just have the recipe. So I used one and a half cups of shaving cream, a half a cup of flour, and a half a cup of white glue. You can adapt it however you like. And I just put it in this Ziploc and mix it around. And right now I'm gonna cut a little tiny corner here, just like you're gonna ice a cake. And like I said, if you'd like, you could put these in a fine liner um, applicator bottle or something, but we're just gonna do this. And I'm just gonna quickly show you how we're gonna Lay down some icing. And you might want to practice with this. Um, I did not. But this should dry just like it is puff paint. So it will dry puffy. And 
Yeah, so you could do something like that. You could do dots. You could do spirals. Um, I don't know. Here's just one example. So, Also, if you don't want to do this, like I said before, uh, and obviously you let that dry, and then carry on. You could also use um, glitter glue. I have a whole bunch of these. These are super old, but they still work. <laughs> you could use regular, you know, good old Elmer's or tacky glue and some regular glitter if you'd like, for instance. Um, and I'm just going to... Oh, let me put this on a paper. Hang on. Um, I don't like to cover too much of the ornament because I really like the cinnamon to come through, but just for the purposes of showing you different options. The glue all over. And if you want, you could do the whole thing. But I'm just going to do the front here and leave the back as the cinnamon. And then just like you would do anything else with glitter, just pour some on. And then tap it off. And then let it dry. So you could also use acrylic paint, you know, whatever you want. So I will see you back here and I'll show you how I wound up decorating each one and I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, you guys, everybody is dry and decorated and I am so pleased with the way that these came out. Um, they're a little bit fragile and you have to be kind of gentle. I don't think these will last forever, but they smell amazing and I'll just kind of lay these out for you and show you um, just some different ones that I did. And they were so much fun. And the only change that I would make is that in a lot of them, I did the hole for the thread right near the top or near the edge. And when I went to thread my thread and my twine, I had to use the needle and at some points it broke right through so when I do these again in the future and I will I will be doing the holes a little further down um, like I did with this tree it's a little further down uh, from the edge but the puff paint dried really hard and it stayed super puffy and I'm really pleased with that I'll use that and other things um, I hope I'm staying in frame and showing you guys. Yeah, so these came out really great. Um, these are all the ones that I left, and all the backs are plain. So you can display whatever side you want. And also, you don't have to decorate these at all. You can really do whatever you want. So I'm so happy. These came out so good. They smell great. All right, and then I also did some with glitter. And let me just, I'll push these, I'll put these back in the basket and I'll show you the glitter ones. Um, I really prefer the white icing, if you will, um, but everybody's different. So I just wanted to show you to give you an idea of different options. Um, you could also do acrylic paint. Um, I wanted to leave as much of the surface area clear that had the cinnamon just to, you know, for the smell, but... Here's an example of one I did um, with that glitter glue and just very lightly you can see the sparkle I think you could see the sparkle um, and then these I did just again just one side okay left the other side plain so I did some stars and then these are more of a Oh, this one is a combo of the two, the silver and purple. And this is more just, God forbid, I don't have anything that has some purple on it. Those, and then you know, 
I couldn't let the season go by without Triple Moon, Mother Maiden and Crone. That came out cool, I thought. And also, I did a goddess figurine. And I did the spiral with a different glitter to represent the return of the sun. Again, she's just playing on the back. That was cool. I'll probably put her on my altar. And then these, um, which is a much more chunky. I did the sun and I did a star with a much more chunky glitter just for a really bright, bright effect. And these will look beautiful on a tree catching the light. So we have the sun. And again, on the back, it's plain. So you could leave it plain or you could um, paint on a face or a spiral or a word so there's this one and then I did a star the same way just like super super pow and then last but not least I have a heart with a different glitter just like a rainbow rainbow kind of glitter so I hope this has inspired you guys again it was super simple to make I'll put all um, recipe ingredients below. Let me know if you do anything like this or similar. Post some pictures. Tag me. Show me what you're doing. I hope you're having a beautiful holiday season so far. And continue. And I'll be back soon with another video. So take care, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.